Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to trim clips using QuickTime Player on macOS. This will allow you to make some basic edits and trim your clip down to a length that you desire. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is a pretty simple process, but what it allows you to do is essentially shorten your clip to a desired length. So um, lets you trim it down, so maybe you can send it on an email or sh smallen the file size or just clip it down to the important part of the film. So what I've got here is I've got a demo clip that is one of my previous videos I'm going to use to show this process today. So open up your clip in QuickTime Player. This is just the unboxing of the uh, Asus Vivo book um, here. But what we're going to do is once you're in the QuickTime editor, what you need to do is use the keyboard command, command T. So click that on your Mac and you'll see that a new bar appears at the bottom. Alternatively, you can go to edit and go to trim here, which will do the same thing. That's what the command T shortcut does. So once you're in the trim mode, after you've clicked Command-T, uh, you'll see this bar open at the bottom, and you'll see that you have your footage with a little yellow clip around it. So all you have to do is drag the ends of that clip to where you want the footage to be shortened to. So let's say that for this video, I wanted to skip the entire unboxing process and just start it from when I've got the laptop itself. I can do that. And then if you hold down on the section, it lets you do precision. Um, editing here so you'll see that if I hold down the mouse on there it'll after a couple of seconds open up a precision editor and then I can find exactly where I want to start it so let's say I start it from right around here and then I might want to end it before the outro here so get rid of that and then I'll use the precision editor to find exactly where just before the outro begins like so now, once you've got your desired length, you can also um, scrub along it to make sure that it is how you want it. And then once you've got it um, how you want it, you can just click the trim button. And you'll see that it's now trimmed it to that length. So it's now only a two minute and 10 second video. And then all you have to do now is go file, save, and then you'll just want to save the new version. So I'll put it on the desktop as well and I'll go trimmed clip and click save here. Now it's saved it and if I go out of it, you can see we've still got the original here, which is 6 minutes 36. So I won't play that, but it's 6 minutes 36 and it has the entire video. But I've also now got my trimmed clip, which was also through quick quick time and it only goes for two minutes and nine seconds so that's a really quick and easy process on how to trim clips using QuickTime player but definitely make sure you remember to save it at the end a lot of people forget that step and it means that all the editing they've just done doesn't actually work because they haven't saved the clip so make sure you remember to do that and also I'd definitely recommend keeping an original of the uh, copy of the film so that if you need to revert back you can do so um, because, yeah, you want to make sure you can revert back if you make a mistake with the trimming process. But hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in trimming clips using QuickTime Player on your macOS device. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me, because uh, I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.